Well, my full name is Emmanuel Kubese. I hail from Delta State, Nigeria, uh, Kwale, um, Kwani local government area um, of Delta State. <laughs> I'm the first child of three amazing kids from my parents. And I have a younger brother and uh, my sister. I'm so used to saying kid sister. I just realized that she's all grown up now, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, I I studied international. I studied international relations at the university in Nairobi, Kenya, the United States International University. Um, graduated with that and um, graduated with a bachelor's in international relations and a minor in psychology. So um, yeah. And um, I moved back to Nigeria, contested for Mr. Nigeria, won Mr. Nigeria, went to the Mr. World, came second, came first runner up at the Mr. World. And um, prior to that, I started, I started off as an actor, I started off as a model, went into music and then I went into acting and came back into Nigeria, continued as an actor. And um, by the grace of God, I, um, I'm, I, I launched my own production company called Emmanuel Kubista Films and and now creating my own films and my own projects and um, yeah, it's been exciting so far, right? Uh, basically, how did acting start for me? It was it's something I I kind of I kind of had inside of me somewhere because I'd always been very passionate about entertainment, right? Um, so while I was in school, of course, for me at that time, it was just basically looking for a side hustle. So I would um, I would go into go out there as a model and do a lot of catwalk modeling and all that and commercial modeling sometimes. And um, from there, I went into DJing because I kind of acquired a bit of skills in Nigeria before I went into school in Kenya as a DJ. So I would organize events and parties and I would DJ literally myself. And uh, from there, I went into music and I actually like proper, proper music. Uh, I had a stage name called Nikon and I, I would, I was the Nigerian artist that basically would cut in rays for any international artist, mostly Nigerian artists who would come into Kenya to perform. And I would be like the last Nigerian artist. I literally used to cut in rays for them. And um, that went great. I uh, did a couple of songs with amazing Nigerian stars with the likes of um, Timaya. I did songs with African stars like Wire, Red Sun. So I really did amazing songs. Uh, but things changed. I went into um, I went into acting now. Yeah, so I got a role on um, Sugar, where I played the character Femi. So yeah, so basically that was the start of my career as an actor. Uh, after that, I started getting a couple of roles. Then I moved into Nigeria. Um, I come. I went into the Mr. Nigeria contest where I won and. From there, I got the opportunity to represent Nigeria at the Mr. World, and I came second as well. And um, that helped my brand. Uh, the reason why I went into the Mr. Nigeria contest was because I really wanted something that would help my identity as a brand. I wanted to be Emmanuel Ikubise. And at the time where I'd um, done the show Sugar, at that time, whenever I got onto the red carpet, I would introduce myself as Emmanuel Ikubise, and people would be like, uh. but when I say, oh, AKA, Femi of sugar. So we were like, oh yeah, for me, I, I really thought I needed to give a proper identity to my name as Emmanuel Kubese as a brand, because I can play so many other characters, but what would stand is my name as Emmanuel Kubese. And I did that and I'm grateful to God that that, that, that worked out. And um, today Emmanuel Kubese is a brand. And um, yeah, it's not been very easy, I must say, but, um, because I believe so much in what I really wanted to do and I just want to also thank God because God has just found a way to just position things for me and I'm very passionate about what I'm doing so a lot of times for me it's just enjoying what I'm doing and just trusting that trusting the process that a point a time will come where I would um, I would be able to be identified as a brand so it didn't just happen overnight it was a long process and trust me it wasn't even a process um it wasn't a process that started when i moved back into nigeria it was a process that started while i was in kenya so um I, for me i actually saw kenya as um as a plain or learning field for me because i was a brand in kenya you know so i i did so much and everything 
that I went through during my time in Kenya for me was a learning curve. And um, for me, I saw myself moving back into Nigeria as the real playing field. So um, yeah, so a lot of things happened and uh, I'm grateful for where I am. Uh, of course, still have big dreams and aspirations and things that we really want to achieve. But you know, when I look back, I, I thank God for where, how far he has brought me and um, I'm thankful. My most memorable moment as an actor would be getting the role on um, on Sugar, yeah, playing Femi, because that was my first time ever as an actor. Well, I'd done a couple of commercials before that time, but you know, commercials were really not so, um, commercials are not as intensive as you playing a lead role in a big international TV series like Sugar. So being, um, I remember when I got the call that I, I remember when I got that call that I made it and I got the role and I had to come in to sign my contract. For me, that was like the biggest thing for me. I, I was so excited and um, it has really helped my life. Sugar has paved the way for me basically into my, as, a, as an actor. So, so yeah, sh so getting the role um, as Femi on Sugar literally paved the way for me um, and kicked off my career as an actor. So I am, I'm grateful for that. So that for me will be that memorable moment for me um, because I got the opportunity to work with amazing talented actors, amazing talented directors. Um, that was the moment I, I, I met and worked with Lupita Nyong'o. You know, um, I don't get to say this always, but yes, I did. And she was one person who actually helped me because at that time I didn't have any idea of acting so she would call me on the side and try to really put me into what I needed to do and how to really become a character so she really really helped me a lot and um, I got I gained a lot of experience from that project and it has really helped my life and helped my career as an actor going into other projects all right presently um, I'm in a couple of movie projects and I'm also working on my own um, personal project. I just launched Emmanuel Kubisa Films and um, I just finished shooting my first TV series, Chadala. It was shot and set in Uganda and uh, it's a show basically that creates social awareness on certain, on certain issues um, like rape, um, teenage pregnancy, um, um, teacher-student relationships, HIV and AIDS. Uh, basically just a um, show that talks about certain things that young people go through and uh, and the society kind of just um, almost do not kind of don't talk about it basically or puts a blind eye to that so we're trying to raise awareness and basically stir up a conversation on certain issues like that um, it was shot in Uganda I just finished it we're in the post-production at the moment and as a matter of course, films also have a couple of other projects lined up for this year that we are working on. I went. I, I found myself into the space of story writing because um, while I was on the show, my flatmates, I, I wrote a couple of episodes of the show and that kind of gave me the confidence to begin to write my own personal project. And, um, and I've been doing that and a couple of shows lined up and they're all gonna be um, produced under Emmanuel Kubiso Films. Um, actors, uh, I basically look forward to working with, um, for me, the goal is international and um, I'm, I'm, I, I believe that by the grace of God, we will get there. Um, and I, I, like again, for me, I, I see this as a, as a learning curve or as a learning field towards that international platform. And um, working with the like of Lupita, uh, was great, um, but I look forward to working with people like um, um, Tyler Perry, great guy, loves stories. Um, likes of Will Smith, amazing guy, um, is actually someone that I uh, I look up to in the entertainment or as an actor, right, as a mentor, right. And um, basically, I just love his style. I love the fact that Will Smith can fit into any character. Um, he can come in as, as a funny guy, serious guy, and can basically just embody any character that 
that is giving or thrown at him. So I I I I, I look up to or, or I aspire, you know, to work with someone like like a Will Smith, um, someone like a Denzel Washington. Uh, Washington is also somebody that I look up to as well. So for me, uh, of course, so that people don't say, oh, this guy is just thinking about international. That's my big dream as as an actor. But um, in Nigeria, actors that I look forward to working with and I've worked with, um, I've worked with um, Ramsey, amazing talented actor and I enjoyed and learned so much working under him or working with him because, you know, I said under him because I learned a lot under him and working with him was a great, uh, a great pleasure and I learned a lot. Um, uh, RMD, I've not worked with him before but I've, I've I, I watch him a lot and someone I'm looking forward to working with in the nearest future. Who else? Um, we have so many other beautiful, amazing, talented actors um, that I am looking forward to working with as well. So, um, oh, another person that, that I've also worked with is um, Adesua. I think she's another beautiful, talented actor and um, I've worked with her as well. So yeah, we have great talent here. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. It's a journey, I'm on that journey. And um, hopefully in the next five to ten years, when we have this kind of interview again, I will be telling you this journey and how I've worked with some of these guys by the grace of God. So, yeah. Um, my take, I'm excited for Nollywood, to be honest. Uh, I've, uh, I'm excited for the growth, the growth process. Um, the Nollywood of five years ago, it's really not what it is today. People are beginning to take production quite seriously. Uh, people are putting in the work. Um, actors are going in to get, get, get experience, um, going into film schools. Producers are going into film schools. Filmmakers are going into film schools. Directors. Um, we're beginning to get people who are aware of how a world-class standard production to should look like and um, we're not there yet it's a journey but i believe we will get there um the eyes the world the world is literally looking at africa right now because there's so much so much that we have to offer our stories we have original stories we have real content we have so much to give and if you watch a lot of hollywood films you begin to see they are slowly introducing the African, um, the African culture or the African feel into their stories, um, and not just the African feel. They're beginning to also introduce the Nigerian feel or Nigerian culture. I, I watched, um, I just watched the series on Netflix, um, um, Charlie by is it did something something Charlie? Uh, the name just skipped my head, but something Charlie. It's by Idris Elba, and. One of the major characters was a Nigerian female. In fact, Idris Elba was playing like a Nigerian living in the UK. Nigerian DJ living in the UK with the parents living in Nigeria and he has the auntie living with him. That just shows you that there's so much, there's so much. The eyes of the world are literally on Africa and Nigeria is the biggest entertainment hub in Africa. So um, I'm excited that um, we are on that road and um great things are going to come out of nollywood uh great things are going to come out of nollywood we begin to spend money we begin to shoot i watched the movie called god calling and i saw the i, I saw the, uh, the the amount of work that was put into that movie um the amount of green screen because that's what hollywood does you know they use green screen to tell the the, the shortest scene um of um, zaina balogo jump, jumping into the third milan bridge and that looked so real when I watched the behind the scene, I was like, wow, we can actually achieve this in Nigeria. That for me just shows that we are growing and we will get there. Oh, by the way, I just remembered the name of um, the, the TV series on Netflix that I saw that had Idris. Um, Turn Up Charlie. Yeah, I just thought I should drop it there so that guys can say, oh, you love the show, so how come you don't remember the name? I remember now. I'm enjoying what I'm doing as a creative person. Um, basically, that's what I that's what I used to do as 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 an artist. You know, kind of like writing songs and performing and all that. But right now, for me, what I'm doing is really amazing. Being able to tell my own stories, being inspired by God to you know to share stories that that are, um, that have been laid in my heart and you know and bringing them to life for me 
means a lot and I'm enjoying that phase of my life right now. So I don't think I want to give that up. Yeah, so um, Kiss Daniels, um, David O, chilling out amazing music, Wizkid, yeah. Um, who else? The new, the new guys, Latin with the whole thing, yeah. Loving that as well. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> like I said, if you leave me, I'm just going to mention gospel artists. <laughs>